Number one, karma. You kill animals, you get killed. Leo Tolstoy used to say, as long as there'll be slaughterhouses, there'll be battlefields. So if you kill unnecessarily, you're gonna get the karma. I don't want to get, I don't want to get the karma, so I'd rather be non-violent in my diet. Two, health. Look, look it up online, you'll see there's thousands upon thousands of, of case studies showing how a vegan diet reduces, you know, diabetes, reduces heart disease, heart disease reduces hypertension, and on the contrary, a meat diet increases these, increases, increases these problems. So, health is the second point. The third point is I don't want to contribute the horrendous working conditions of these poor workers or slaves who work in the slaughterhouse industry. The, the horrible working conditions in which these poor people are like forced to like work with, with the stench of blood and the screening of animals, you know, 10 hours a day with like sharp blades and you know, the level of, of accidents. So I'm not contributing to that. No, no, no. Four. Then there's the issue of, of, of violence towards the animals themselves. Like, I don't want to contribute to the suffering of animals. Forget about the karma. I don't want to hurt these poor animals who, just like you, just like me, have a father, have a mother, have loving relationships. And so, by eating meat, I'm contributing to their, to their imprisonment, to their suffering. Why should I do that? Now, here, here's an important point, though. If you're going to see animals as, as, as persons who have rights, you know, the right to live, the right not to be in, enslaved, the right not to be tortured, the right not to be murdered. Um, you got to see them as persons, right? But then, then you enter the whole philosophical question of what is a person? And personally, unless you see someone as a soul, unless you see someone as a spiritual being, then it's really hard to see them as just persons, especially animals. The tendency to... Uh, the tendency to objectify, the tendency to objectify animals is, is really easy. So this is where the wisdom of the Bhagavad Gita comes in. And in the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna tells us that a sage, a wise person, Vidya Vinaya Sampani Brahmani Gavi Hashtini Suni Chaiva Swapakecha Pandita Samadarshina. A wise person sees with equal vision an elephant, a dog, a dog eater, a Brahmin or a priest you know, or a lower so-called caste person. In other words, a trans-caste vision and a trans-species, speciesist vision. In other words, you, you cut through the externals and you see the soul proper equally, regardless of the external shape. That, my friends, is the way in which we can see everyone, including animals, as spiritual beings in quality one with us and just as much sons and daughters of God as we are. So there you go, that's the five reasons for being a vegan. Please subscribe to my channel, it really helps. Like it if you want, if you can, write some commentaries in it and I'll see you next time.